up guys just on a ride on my 2018 Triumph Tiger 800 XRX dual sport just got a mic for my GoPro just seeing how it works seeing how much better it makes the sound and I was recording videos riding places and stuff but I had to put music in the background and then mute or lower the noise coming out of my GoPro mic because the wind is so intense so I got a purple panda but anyway yeah I just clicked on the link and it took me to the Amazon app and I did test it uh, just with the GoPro out of the case it's a GoPro 4 so it's old that's for sure um, out of the case the GoPro itself has a decent camera um, that you honestly don't need you don't need much anything else unless if you're vlogging all the time but uh, when I be on the wind obviously you couldn't hear me and so I'm hoping that this is gonna make it sound better and the blue purple panda definitely was an upgrade that's for sure definitely was an upgrade compared to just having the, the camera by itself um, it just it's it's crisp on both but there's just a difference you can just tell it, it makes the noise not sound so distant it's more like right there and uh, I held the GoPro in the same spot as I held the mic just in hopes that it would maybe be as accurate as it could be but I just think the GoPro is just designed to pick up distances farther out just make it makes sense so you, people that are you know 10 feet away can actually be picked up noise wise so I'm hoping that this thing actually sounds good when I'm riding with my visor up I don't know this is the first literally the first test so we're definitely gonna see yeah, I'm fogging up it's not that warm out I mean it's not bad it's north of Idaho, so it's just kind of, it is what it is. Oh, wow, that's a thin blinker. All right, well, I guess I should talk a little bit about my, my bike. Uh, I bought it brand new, and it was, at the time, February of 2019 so it was brand new model even though it's 2018 this thing's pretty awesome this is the biggest CC bike I've owned I started out on a 2017 bought that new from the dealership different dealership um, Honda Grom 2017 that thing was fun tricked it out put a Yoshi on it um, different handlebars got all the LEDs fender delete everything like that and it was pretty sweet. It's a fun bike. I kind of miss it. I sold it because I bought halfway through owning that bike, which I owned for a year and a half, maybe. Harley Davidson guys, they don't like to wave at us for some reason. We're not cool. But anyway, I had the Honda Grom for about a year and a half, maybe not quite that long. Um, but before that, I bought the Grom in, in August of 2017. March of 2018 I bought a 2017 brand new KTM Duke uh, 390 the naked and that thing was super fun I bought it because obviously I wanted to get a little more CC but I figured everyone's going out there buying 600 CC class bikes or going out straight up to the leader bikes or whatever they're buying and stuff they hop on it with no experience and my experience was at the time only six months which I live where the snow so more like I had about 2,000 miles of experience on the road on a Honda Grom. So I mean that's, I mean those things you just mess around. You can just, you do things on those that you, if you did it on a bigger bike, you'd eat, you'd eat it. You know, you, I you just wasn't experienced enough. So I decided to stick with a 390. It was kind of expensive for the bike or for the same price. I could have bought a couple year older uh, Yamaha FZ07 and 
I was thinking about it, but you know, I started talking around and insurance companies to cover a 07 is a hundred bucks for me. You know, my choice of the 390 is a freaking great bike. That is an awesome bike. I loved it. I put uh, about 3,000 miles on it. My Grom got 3,000 miles on it before I sold it. It sat the moment I bought the Duke. So I like the small bike. I like the Grom. It was fun. It was super fun to mess around. Um, the only problem was is where I lived at the time, I kind of got on into the Grom game when the hype was like just, it was big, but it wasn't as big as it's been, you know. Um, you got the guys that are on the Grom squad and stuff, and they, they were... Well, if you look at their subscribers and stuff, they were, you know, a tenth of what they are now. So, it just, I got in up before the hype, you know, and so I, I, I sold it because I wasn't using it and I would have just rather sold it and, you know, I had fun on it. It was a nice bike, but, uh, it just sat so that 390 man i rode that thing everywhere i took it on a trip <laughs> it was a three and a half hour trip it was to leavenworth washington and that was a fun ride but man i had a headwind the entire way and i have never experienced what it feels like to be on a bike that's too light to be going on a trip like that and doesn't have enough gears it's got six gears but six gears ain't enough when top speeds 100 barely over 100 uh, trick that one out put a Yoshi on that too um, this is the only bike that actually has its stock exhaust my other triumph is a 675 street triple R 2016 and I put a uh, aero exhaust on that thing and that that sounds good it's a comfortable noise there's another bike what's up dude yeah dual sport so anyway um, so I'm taking this trip to Leavenworth and my gosh, it was so much fun, but the wind, I, I'm not joking where, you know when you're going around a corner on a bike and you get that nice lean, I was going straight down the freeway. I had that much of a, a side headwind. It was in my chest, I mean, I was just getting beat just the whole time, totally beat. Didn't have cruise control, so I bought this uh, Atlas throttle lock. I've only bought one throttle lock for cruise control because obviously at the time, I, I mean, that's, 2017 it's 2020 so that's three years of riding but at the time i was fresh didn't know you know different types of brands of of different throttle locks and so i just did some reviews and i figured this one looks the most simplest the most neat and it looks like i can overpower if there's an issue and that's pretty much what it was is a hundred and something bucks is the greatest thing i've purchased for that duke it uh it transformed that bike it made me actually enjoy going on long trips because for some reason my right hand i don't know if anyone else has that problem my right hand falls asleep and it's definitely due to how hard i grip the handlebars and just i have to constantly remind myself not to grip them too tight that was a fun bike but it just didn't have enough you know i was maxed out power wise i didn't like getting on the freeway and 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 i had power but you know you hit 75 miles an hour and you have to be in sixth gear otherwise you're screaming and you're screaming anyway because because it's just high rpms and i just didn't feel like i had that nice cruising low torque and had a windshield that's further what i was looking for so um fast forward from 2018 of spring to late winter early spring of 2019 and uh i sold my i sold my grom that January and I started looking for another bike and I found one it fell through um, that's a whole other story but anyway uh, so I decided to go to a different dealership and ran across Empire Cycle I bought this from them it I love the bike uh, it's super good bike smooth easy to ride you know it's 800 cc's but it's a 765 street triple board out to an 800 so it's got that a little more low end it's got a little more torque it's just built different it's it's definitely not the high rpm of a 765 um but it's still fun it's a fun bike so this is downtown Coeur d'Alene i'm sure a lot of people have heard of this place i live yes in 
Coeur d'Alene area, Spokane Coeur d'Alene area. And I just, uh, I've been wanting to make videos for a while. Um, I like making videos. Sometimes I lose motivation in making them or editing them or whatever. It depends on if I'm interested or not, which I'm horrible. I go through hobbies like, like uh, you shouldn't go through hobbies as much as I go through hobbies. It's bad. Um, so anyway, this is, I've been riding for three years and I've owned four bikes, all new. Except one, the 2016 Triumph uh, Street Triple R 675. That's an awesome bike. I have it still. Um, trying to figure out if I'm going to sell it or not. Because I'm getting married this fall. Or, sorry, the end of the summer. And just trying to figure out, you know, I don't need two bikes. And my fiance does not enjoy that bike. It's not a fun bike for two people. Do not buy that bike for two people. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, yep, I want to start making videos, um, so I got a mic, that's obviously, you know, why I started, this is my first video, even though I've had a handful of bikes that I wanted to do reviews on, I just, I've had the GoPro the whole time, but for some reason I just never decided to buy a $30 mic, I don't know why, so anyway, I have lots of videos of me riding and stuff that I've never posted because it's just not, they're just not good, because all you hear is that, the thud of the wind, and just, I'm hoping that this is this is really the test. You guys may or may not see this video depending on how this mic turns out. And uh, I mean, I have it positioned in a spot. I've never put a mic in a helmet before and stuff, so I have a Climb Creos, uh, and it's a pretty nice helmet. Um, and there was a lot of room up in the front for the mic to sit, so I just perched everything right there and put the access cable, which sucks. I mean, that would be nice if if they uh, if they could make a shorter one. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, if the if the audio turns out good, you might be hearing some more of me. Um, but until then, I gotta go, go into where I'm at. I'm almost to my location, so yeah. I'll talk to you guys later and see you next time.